After capturing Atlanta in September 1864, a figure that all but assured the re-election of Abraham Lincoln, General William Tecumseh Sherman, Union commander in the West, turned his efforts on the heart of the Confederacy. Regarding the scorched earth campaign that would become known as his March to the Sea, Sherman said, I am going into the very bowels of the Confederacy and will leave a trail that we recognize 50 years hence. He recognized the harshness of his plan. As he told the mayor of Atlanta in September, war is cruelty and you cannot refine it. Sherman also offered all needed assistance once the Confederates surrendered. During the 285 mile march to the sea, Sherman's 60,000 men cut a swath through Georgia and South Carolina, destroying crop crops, killing livestock, and burning barns and factories. The devastation culminated on December 22nd when Sherman's army marched into Savannah, Georgia, a day after the Confederate garrison deserted the seaport. After accepting surrender from the town's mayor, Sherman wrote to Lincoln the following, I beg to present you as a Christmas gift, the city of Savannah.